what is going on guys it is a pretty cool looking day out here and uh of course there's a helicopter flying what are the chances as soon as i start recording a freaking black hawk helicopter decides to fly by but anyway um <laughs> i stopped in coles you know why i stopped in coles how they go to the bathroom and i figured they probably had the cleanest bathroom anyway we are on our way to the Denali Highway. Today is June 17th, my birthday, and uh, the clouds are looking really cool. So let's get a little time lapse going of this drive out there. All right, we just stopped in the Talkeetna Overlook. I wasn't really tired coming out, and she kept saying, you tired, you good, you good? And I was like, hmm, maybe I am kind of tired. But I mean, you ever just drive, and you're just like, man, I want to walk and like run around and stuff? Well, I'm not going to run around, but I might do some push-ups and sit-ups before I head back on the road here. Got a little little walk in, little little push ups, little little planks, some stretching, feeling a little better. Got the heart rate up. You know, when you sit around for a while, your heart rate kind of drops, your mind gets tired, your body gets tired. You gotta create your own energy. You create and destroy. All right, we're heading. We're just gonna head back. Let's go. Alrighty, we had to take a quick stop on the side of the road because there was this crazy drunk driver in front of us. But we kind of got lucky because Denali is peeking its head out. It's pretty cool how it just blends in with the clouds and it's just doing its own thing. Pretty nice out. A little breeze to keep the mosquitoes away for now. But probably be like 10 minutes before we head back out. Hopefully that guy gets pulled over or something. Pretty sure they film horror movies here. This spot's pretty cool. I've shown you this before. This is the igloo. You see it above this little old little gas station there. Pretty cool in there. And then uh look look, this uh door is open, so it's pretty creepy looking. No, no, oh my god, you scared the shit out of me. But unfortunately, they put all those rocks here because they're going to be doing some road work starting on Monday. And I'm like, come on, man. It ruined my photo compositions and whatnot. I'm a little upset. All right, I just flew my drone and uh, I noticed this storm coming in. It looks really, really cool with these dark clouds kind of just coming in over these mountains, really darkening the mountains. Meanwhile, there's still a little bit of sun over there. Actually, clouds are kind of blocking the sun up there. But yeah, it's looking really, really cool. And I'm, I really am digging the, uh, the, dark, the dark storms. So yeah, that's all I gotta say about that.
All right, we have made it to the start of the Denali Highway. This is from Cantwell. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be a 135 mile dirt road, probably like 30, 40 miles an hour. And um, yeah, not a whole lot on this road, but hopefully some cool scenes. And this is the final road that I have to travel in Alaska, besides like small towns and whatnot. But yeah, we are finally here. Just a few miles in from Cantwell. Oh, there's, a, there's an antler right here. An antler. Okay, anyway, just a few miles in from Cantwell, and I didn't even realize this, but you can actually see Denali from the Denali Highway. And I know that sounds like, duh, but actually, I didn't know that, so now I know. It's really far with a wide angle lens, but it looks okay with 70 to 200 and uh, so far the road is not too bad for being unpaved it's better than our own road that we live on in Kodiak but really really gorgeous night you can see surrounded by mountains and mosquitoes you can't beat it and so we're just gonna keep on keep on trucking here and hopefully we see some cool stuff hopefully there's a nice pretty sunset tonight be be pretty cool All right, what's up guys? I found a perfect, perfect little uh, mosquito net for my head because these things are freaking insane out here. But wow, this view is just incredible. Wow.
It is 1 a.m. I finally found a spot that I would like to uh, sleep for the night. And uh, you can see it is really, really pretty. Look at that. Blue hour, 1 a.m. Absolutely gorgeous. Moon's behind me. Just an absolutely beautiful night. Hello, oh, good morning. It's a beautiful day here. Actually, it, it really is a pretty day out. Is that a little prettier last night? But uh, we're still in the same spot. We got this little river here that goes down into the mountains and we're kind of camping on top of a mountain. See, the thermostat said it's 37 in the truck, but it's definitely not 37. It feels pretty warm. I don't know if it's actually 37 degrees and the sun is just baking on me or what, but it feels pretty nice out. I'm not changing. I don't really care. And, uh, wow, pretty morning. Pretty morning. 8 a.m. and it feels like it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The sun's so high up in the sky. Look at that. What the heck? We are we have like 30 miles left of the the Natalie Highway. It's honestly pretty good. There's only been about like 20, maybe 30 miles that was rough where you had to do under 30. But it's not too bad. It really isn't. The one thing that kind of was a bummer was there was no wildlife. There was one wildlife and it was a freaking porcupine, man. And every time I see a porcupine, I'm like, look, look. I always think it's a wolverine. And it's not a wolverine. It's always a porcupine. Which means I want to see a wolverine. Anyway, we're going to head back on the road. Let's get that time lapse going again. And just like that, we have successfully completed the Denali Highway, which you only see Denali for like the first two miles of the highway from Cantonwell. Well, I thought about what if we changed the name of this highway to the Tundra Highway because you saw a lot of really open tundra along the highway with some glaciers in the distance. And I thought it was really pretty. I did enjoy it. I didn't think it would be something that great. Um, I think if we didn't see Denali from the start, it would have been not as good, but we have made it to the Richardson Highway. And we're here now. I thought something didn't look right. I was like, the freaking autofocus isn't tracking my eye. And it wasn't, I had manual focus on on accident i didn't even do a time lapse usually i only switch it to manual when i'm doing a time lapse or astro so god only knows how much of this everything has been manual focus for the past vlog all right off towards glen allen now another traffic jam here a lot of construction that's just driving in the summertime in Alaska. I mean, summertime anywhere, but only in Alaska you get shut off for like hours at a time. Okay, it's probably not gonna be a full hour, but you never know. And a lot of bugs, a lot of dead bugs on the on the windshield or on the on the grill here, uh, on the windshield as well. At least it's a nice day to get stopped and walk outside, do whatever you need to. Alrighty, we've made it to Glen Allen. It was a fine drive until we hit construction. The Denali Highway was really, really nice. wasn't uh, wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It wasn't it wasn't bad at all. There was really no bad spot. A couple of potholes for like 30 miles, but the first 50 miles in both ways was super smooth. So I'd say about like 30 miles was, uh, you know, a little rough. But we are gonna um be in glen allen for a little bit get some food i'm gonna end this vlog here thank you for watching be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and the next video will be glen allen and don't know what we're gonna do yet maybe they'll these maybe not i'm not sure yet